Okay, so this is uh, another uh, topic uh, on activities and particularly activities of ions. And this is a, a separate section and I want to talk about some recordings about this. And this is uh, related to uh, particularly when you dissolve those ions uh, in aqueous solution and uh, that's very typical in many cases of biochemical systems or the physiological systems. Okay, so uh, that's uh, that's quite related to him. So uh, first thing uh, first is what well, I'm going to discuss what has been described uh, in uh, the textbook, and then I'm going to more move on to the what is not discussed in the textbook. But I remember this is a very important concept. What is called the Dubai screening length, and this is something that I want to uh, give you more example and uh, give you more conceptual understanding about. Uh, Dubai Huckel theory. Okay, so uh, um, when you have an ions, okay, so the, let's, say, let's say the compound A, and you will have a positive species, and then you have a negative space species, and so these are the two components that are being uh, generated here, and uh, regardless, uh, um, and so uh, that's uh, what they call the M plus and X minus, uh, when you have Mx. So let's let's just uh, call it this way, and then uh, we uh, we can talk about always. This is a uh, in general anything that you remember that mu a is a mu a uh, standard state, uh, sort of the reference state, and then as a deviation from that, uh, divide, uh, described by the what is called the activities. Right. So, uh, as a same token, uh, then, then activity can be described as a, uh, related to mole fraction of an A, and then activity constant uh, goes in front. And so, those are the very generic equation, whether it is an A or a B, uh, uh, what, whichever it is. And uh, here, they I think that they are using this notation called J. And that's uh, really the notation shown up here. And it just um, I just I think that I, I just have to do it for the last time. When this is a solvent, and this becomes a sort of the exception that mu a is mu a star, and R T and ac uh, activity a. And so this one, the reference point, uh, is actually has a more uh, physically meaningful reference point, which is a pure state. Whereas, uh, uh, if it is, uh, they can just, uh, if it is a solute or any kind, we can just see that it is, can be described from the certain standard state, and then that deviation can be described by this, something called activities. Well, so, I will just I think that I will, let me just keep the same notation as in the textbook says. So let me just say the J here. But now, uh, what is going to say is, uh, let's say that this is a case where uh, the Gibbs molar Gibbs free energy is a uh, uh, plus ions and negative ions chemical potential, and the chemical potential for the plus is a uh, chemical potential plus plus RT ln uh, activity of plus, right? And so, uh, and so therefore, and then this one uh, furthermore, okay, so I think that this is also not so relevant, so let me just delete that, uh, so that we can, we can, can essentially derive this which is a mu plus standard state and RT ln mole fractional positive and then the uh, RT ln uh, gamma for the positive cation, cation species. So then, then this one with that, so what in the textbook called, uh, okay, let me just call this a mu positive ion ideal and so therefore, this is an ideal with uh, activity coefficient. 
and uh, this is a uh, anion, and the gamma minus uh, is uh, is the one. So if you put it together, essentially you will get this uh, notation shown up here. Okay. So, and and then uh, finally that uh, the, okay. So for this activity constant is is a geometric means of these two parameters and so on. So this this has been discussed in here, uh, trying to I think that trying to describe an activity. But I want to emphasize a little bit more important concept based on the dubai huckle theory. dubai huckle theory is a description of, let's say there's a positive ions here, and then there's negative ions are surrounding it. And then once they're surrounding it, the negative ions attracts the positive ions. So it is, if you start to think about it, it's a pretty complicated s scenario on the average, and then they attract the negative ions and so on. So this uh, ionic interaction in the sea of the liquid, which is typical water, and uh, that can be uh, uh, has to be think about uh, in terms of the model. And uh, the uh, the Debye-Huckel theory, the the what is important here is uh, what they call the ionic strength, and ionic strength is is actually being defined as shown up here, which is uh, this is a charges to the square. And this is a molar concentration or molarity. That's, a, I guess, a different uh, number based on the ionic strengths. Uh, so some of them was a, a molar concentration based. Some of them is a molality uh, based concentration. And then the, uh, they, they can allow to calculate uh, what's the value for the, in the, in the limit of very uh, low concentration of the salt. And then you can and then particularly the AQ solution is so common here at room temperature. This actually some constant value has been derived and has been given out to, to us so that we can kind of predict the, what's the value for uh, gamma, uh, plus, uh, gamma plus minus. Okay, so this uh, gamma plus minus is a value that uh, we uh, that can be described here, but what I want to talk about here is this is not discussed in this textbook, um, but I want to talk to you about the Debye lengths, okay? Debye screening lengths. Okay. Uh, I think that I want to make sure that I, I give you what this uh, gamma plus minus means. Essentially, the we want to say the uh, chemical potential of each ions is a mu ions is a mu ion ideal plus min plus RT ln gamma plus minus. Whether it's a plus ion or a negative ion, uh, we can uh, we can define this. So this is a quantity that. Uh, can be uh, can be calculated, and uh, this equation was provided. And particularly, that we know exact constant for the uh, case to describe the the you know, sodium chloride solutions and the, their activities at, as a function of concentration, quote unquote, which is related to the ionic strengths and so on. But now we are we are talking about this is uh, what is called a uh, ion atmosphere and it has a quite uh, interesting coulombic interaction and then there's an important concept what we call the charge screening okay the screen is called the screening lengths and this is something that I need to uh, discuss it to you so you might recall that when you are taking this class uh, when you're in the physics one uh, there's a Coulomb's law Remember the Coulomb's law? And the force is proportional to charge 1, charge 2, and distance square. Okay, so this is a case where the force between charge 1 and charge 2, and the distance between this is an R, and then how the force is going to be proportional to the one uh, one of our r square 
and uh, this why am I saying this one is this is a pretty much the similar case when you have a plus and plus charges that repel each other and uh, the distance uh, relationship is uh, like that uh, one is a known uh, impl implication for Coulomb forces 1 over square relationship forces 1 over r square this is uh, known as long range interaction so this is a quite uh, the force is exerted. Uh, the DK is not as steep, so it's, uh, it is exerted for, for the quite. So this is for the charged species. Uh, for charged species, charged uh, ions, and this is a quite uh, quite a long range orders. Okay, long range in, uh, order uh, interactions, and compare that. And uh, why is the long range? Uh, typically, uh, it is uh, people call the Leonard Jones potential. You might heard about it. You might not heard. And this is uh, to describe the uh, the interactions between these uh, electronically neutral atoms for the neutral neutral atoms and the molecule. They call the Leonard Jones potential. So being being used to describe it, and this uh, Leonard Jones potential, uh, Len L J, is uh, essentially proportional to one over r to the twelfth minus one over r to the six. So uh, the steeper dif dif dependence is this. So pretty much the the, the potential uh, is proportional to the one over six to power to the six. So this is a very short range of potential, whereas this is a long range potential. <laughs> but one one of the uh, uh, things that to remember in the Coulomb's law, in this is a essentially in a dielectric medium called epsilon. And there is no, no no other things other than these two charged species, and how the communication is uh, transmitted through this effective medium called the dielectric strength, and there's a whole uh, a whole theory is on that. But now let's think about the uh, the situation where we are in this uh, ionic aqueous solution. Okay, so the one thing to notice here is the, the potential here, although this is a distance. So the potential-wise, so potential-wise Coulomb interaction is actually 1 over r. Okay? This is, you, you can think about this, this equation shown up here is q1 over r, q2 over r. So each charged species exerting about this kind of the lengthwise relationship as a potential. And so that's a potential uh, from the Coulomb. And then, then uh, how that's why it's such a long range order. But now, this is a section that I, I was able to pull out from the Wikipedia pages. You can find many other uh, 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 resources where it talk about uh, device screening lengths. Essentially, what they see is uh, the bare Coulomb potential, so which is like here, this is a Bayer Coulombic potential, and this is a Bayer Coulombic potential, which is shown up here, right there. So that's the Bayer Coulombic potential. It's going to be exponentially screened by a medium over a distance about the lengths. Okay, so that's the sort of the correction of Bayer Coulombic interaction potential. And this is a, what is called a, the dubai uh theories about the, how the charge screening is being occurred here. And uh, Dubai lengths, or Dubai screening lengths is a lambda d. And so this is a, what this is about. So let me give you a little bit more visual ideas. And then this is quite common. Think about this is a nanoparticle or colloidal particle. Or, uh, or the, even the proteins uh, dissolve in a medium. 
and then the, in the on the charges on the surface is pretty much dominated to be let's say positive charges okay in the surfaces they have a positive charges by doing so uh, they are kind of loosely attracting the negative charges and then the, the positive charges also being attracted and the negative so they're alternating eventually those uh, interactions are decays away so once again uh, so uh, this potential here what it's called the potential over R and the divide by potential about uh, about R as a coulomb okay C O U L O M B so that's a bare, bare ionic potential. Okay, this is a bare ions. So what this bare ion means, if this is a positive and this is a positive, they repel each other, and the relationship is proportional to one to the r square, and the potential lies uh, each one contributes to one over r, and that's what that means. But that's a very long range order. So this is a where your starting point. But what this really means is the, the longer the distance between this r, this is a 0 to r, this one essentially decays like this. If, you, if, I, if I show you back to the equation that is shown up here, which is a, a r is proportional to e to the uh, divide length. Uh, R divided by the divine lengths. Okay, so uh, we did a, just a one distance of the divine lengths, and the two distance of divine lengths, and if you have a three distance of a divine lengths, three divine lengths here, and you almost has a no uh, inter interaction potential between charge and molecule. Okay, so what that means is what used to be a uh, they can feel each other, but uh, when, but in versus in the ionic medium because of the, the negative charges, positive charges start to screen it out. They don't, they don't feel any interaction if you go beyond certain, the rule of thumb is about three times of the divine length and they don't feel any repulsion here because of the charge screening it. What, uh, what I'm saying here is you used to be have a positive charges on the surface but not anymore because of the but there's positive charges is screened by the negative charges, positive charges. It looks like on the outside, at a certain distance and the long enough, it be, it became quote unquote neutral. You don't feel the charges anymore, and that's what this device screening makes about. So uh, it will be nice. Uh, I think it's a it's a nice concept about the charge screening, and it's an important concept in um, on this uh, particularly for the uh, ions in the dissolving the aqueous solution that is very common in the physiological conditions. <laughs> so therefore, if you're looking at uh, this is once again I find it it's a very famous equation. Uh, divide lengths, and then they also using this, the one of a kappa, and then that's uh, essentially same as somebody saying, hey, that is a, a lambda d, which is a divide length. Okay. Divide length is happen to be, uh, that's uh, 0 0.304, and divide by square root of an ionic strength. And in this case, ionic strength is Defined as a sim as as the same as here, uh, shown in this uh, your textbook here, uh, which is uh, uh, shown up here. Okay. Ionic strength is half of and the charges of individual and the concentration molar concentration, and so that's a molar concentration based ionic strength. And the one textbook uses is a molarity based on the ionic strengths. Okay. And so that's what it is. Uh, uh, you can cal you either you have you can use either way. Uh, so that's an equation. But I wanted to carry out a little bit further down. And uh, so typically, so let's think about some actual solution. So you can think about the salt about uh, 100 millimolar to one millimolar. Right. So if you, this is a low salt concentration. 
in aqueous solution. And the divide length, LD, is about 10 nanometers. That's good to know. And so if you have a one millimeter consult concentration, divide uh, screening length is about 10. So it, let's say if you have a protein dissolve, and this is one millimolar concentration, and then if they are like a separated by, let's say, about 30 nanometers, and then this, uh, the charges on being proteins are not kind of the uh, being feeling this uh, feeling anymore, feeling repulsive anymore because of the, there are enough charge screening by the electrolyte that is a negative and then a positive. So essentially, those charges are buried under this the electron cloud, so that the charge screening. is effective, let's say, about roughly three times the uh, divide length, and then that will be uh, useful. So if you have a 10 millimolar, that's about uh, three nanometers in the uh, divide screening length, and that will be a useful quantity to, for you to have in mind uh, to kind of the describe it. So once more, uh, this is a, a nanoparticles, or colloidal particles, or protein, has a surfaces, I mean, for example, DNA, like has a surfaces on the negative charges, but because of the, when you put the salt there, there's a positive and the negative charges trying to screen out. So eventually those uh, negative charges on here cannot be visu visible uh, beyond certain distance. And then that is, I would say, you know, a few, uh, and here I'm, I'm giving you an example of three times of the divide length. As an as an guidance, almost has has a no uh, repulsive interaction. Uh, well, they lose essentially Coulomb-like interaction characters. Uh, fine. Okay. Uh, I just want to discuss about uh, at least. So you heard about the charge screening idea. This is an important concept, particularly many uh, ionic uh, solution, particularly in the biochemical system. And I just want you to hear about this. And if you want to know more, you can uh, look at more literatures or look at the books here. The textbook description is actually not so, uh, not so useful uh, as the, to my mind. The most practical concept is, uh, to me, the understanding the ionic, con ionic strengths, and then the, the, this, the Dubai uh, screening length is the, what matters here. Thank you for your attention.